CI Living, at home in your community. It is officially summer, which means plenty of time outdoors, enjoying the sunshine, and being active as a family. And here to get us moving today, it's our official PE teacher back once again, John Lubinsky. I'm yeah. so excited to be here. Well, we are always excited to have you, Mr. Physical That's Education. Right. Figured I'd wear the shirt so you know what you're in for. Oh, my word. Well, before we um, participate in the activity that you brought. Hardest game I've ever brought you. Oh, I'm up for the challenge. You've actually got a few ideas of some other games at home um, to play with your family or friends. Yeah. Let's take a look. Really I think you've anybody. got um, a few examples here. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, let's do the water balloons. Water balloons? Because it's going to okay. be hot this week. It's a fun way to cool off. Yes. Um, so you just fill up some water balloons and get a bat and go to town. I call it water balloon home run derby. So Whoa. basically, you take the water balloons <laughs> and you pitch them to your friends and family members and they just whack them in so how do the you, water. So how do you win this game? Um, most hits wins. Okay. You would need an equal number of balloons <laughs> per hitter and you know, you can do contact, you can do one point per hit. And You've got some little all-stars there on you know, your team. That's our softball team right there. Wow. Uh, Kendall, Madison, and Libby helped me out with that one. The so, wiffle bat, do you think that's kind of key too? I would not use a real bat. <laughs> mostly okay. because they would throw it at you. Ooh, that would be um, And water balloons. You have to use actual water balloons, not okay. balloons filled with water. That one There's a fun. difference. So noted. Regular balloons filled with water do not break. Ooh, more points for you if you kind of separate them. Okay, sidewalk like chalk. The <laughs> There's another game here you have using some <clears throat> chalk. Yeah, this is more of a, let's say you've had a lot of activity, you're getting hot, but you want to stay outside. Uh, you could do hopscotch, which is a fun one. We all know. Yeah. But this is murals on the sidewalk. And we're getting artistic. Yes, you let them be creative. So you tape off some masking tape on the sidewalk. Uh, don't do it on the road. Um, <laughs> Maybe enjoy a popsicle while you're doing something, it. Something, you know, and then they color in the spaces in between the lines, and you're left with, you've turned your sidewalk from drab to fab. Oh, Look at I, that. It looks like a fun and, little stained glass little mural right there. That's right. Okay. I mean, it's great. It's fun for them. They are outside, they are getting sunshine, and they're being creative. And taking a little break. Don't getting, forget water and sunscreen. Getting a little vitamin D. Okay. Right. My grandpa loved horseshoes. So yeah. I was really excited that we were going to play homemade horseshoes today. So uh, what supplies so, do we need, sir? I call it homemade horseshoes. You can call it ring toss, whatever you want. All you need is paper plates and a paper towel roll. Okay. That is it. You take the one paper plate, stick the paper towel roll in the middle, cut a hole. In it, yep, just like we've got here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And then you need paper plates for each competitor. I taped three plates together. Why? To make Strategy? them heavier. Okay. Because one plate does not fly. And that's why we are excited that you yes. have tested this out for us yes. before. Yes, I tried one plate, I tried two, and three. I did not try four. <laughs> uh, three is okay. where I stopped. Four would have been excessive. Still, it would have been. It would have been like, <laughs> kidding me? Uh, what, how far away? Do just we take a couple turns? feet, whatever you want. I would say throw it at the same time. Why? Then it might deflect. Oh, that's so the point. The game. Okay. You get one point for hitting the post, two points for making it around. Okay. It is the hardest game I've ever brought you. But I will say during the break when practicing, you did I make made it. it. You made it. <laughs> now I will not. So, so I, I, okay. I am a witness. Okay. So you, you, you just agree oh, you upon a first? distance. I feel like this and is then, a pretty good, good space. And then you guys, if you want to take turns, you can take turns. Let's just go. Same time? Yeah, let's do And it. then you have to retrieve your own discs. <gasps> Color-coded. <laughs> They're color-coded. Okay. You can decorate them if you want. Okay, Mr. P.E. Teacher. Sorry. We're going down. Sorry. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't know we were... <gasps> yeah, we're starting. <laughs> and if it falls over, you just fix it. Oh, sugar. Sugar. <laughs> okay. So you oh, shoot, even that's yours. Like... That's yours. Yeah, those are yours. Sorry, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> I threw them away. <laughs> you can I even see do... your strategy. You can even do sudden victory. Like, first Ooh. person to make it. Win. <gasps> Shouldn't this is said... the hardest game ever. Shouldn't have said that sudden victory. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, let me try it one more time. 
See, God, anybody can do it by anyone. Look at you. Oh, you need to <laughs> Oh, my word. Okay, well, you enjoy your summer from um, PE classes, yeah. and you just it, come hang out with us. It's never a break from PE. <laughs> you should always be moving. That's right. And, hey, if you want to play any of the games that we have featured here today with CI Living's official PE teacher, John Lubinsky, um, we will connect you at CI Living. Dot TV. That was challenging. I will give you that. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for <laughs> joking me. You're welcome.